Hello, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of I make free energy for you guys on YouTube. Today we are not going to talk about another free energy generator. Today we are going to talk about a water car. Yes, a car that runs on water. I know it sounds crazy, it sounds impossible, it sounds uh, like a dream. Oil companies are shaking thinking about we have water as a fuel for our cars nowadays. So, sounds crazy, right? Okay, nowadays everyone has a water car. Let's go take a look at this video, tell me what you think. In the top our news here at six o'clock, an age-old dream becoming a reality. A local inventor has discovered a way, hear this, to use water to run your car. It's a major breakthrough that will no doubt make motorists happy. And as Ralph Robinson explains, the Pentagon is also showing lots of interest in this project. Water has always been considered a precious commodity, but Stan Meyer's invention may make it even more valuable. He has developed what's called a water fuel cell. It has taken the place of his old gas tank. The water fuel cell breaks down water molecules into oxygen and hydrogen. The hydrogen is used to run his dune buggy. I don't care if you use rainwater, well water, city water, ocean water. If you don't have any fresh water, go ahead and use snow. If you don't have any snow available to you, then use salt water because there's no adverse effect to the fuel. Let's put you to hold, please. Because we're going to test this later on. And I'm going to just tip it in here, which is a fuel tank. And then what we'll do, I'm just going to get you to stand back for a moment. And then what we're going to do is stand back a bit and we'll crank this up. Stanley Mayer, he was a genius. He decided to take the hydrolysis process, that's what's called hydrolysis, and turn his car into a water car, water fuel. So forget about your gasoline. Don't buy your gasoline anymore. It's too expensive and it's very polluting. Stop with these oil companies. What I decided to do, since uh, those guys are not engineers, never been to school, but I am been to school and I'm an engineer, I think I thought that I could do something better than that. For instance, the process was pretty simple, I found out. You take your car battery, you convert the energy once by pumping a lot of amps into your water cell, into your HHO water cell, stands for hydrogen and oxygen, and you produce a volume in gas, in terms of gas. So you take that gas and you pump it into your engine. So you already convert the energy three times. Uh, this is my car engine. My car is very, very, very efficient. It's a very small 1.4 liters car. So small engine, perhaps I need a little less gas. That's awesome. I've got my alternator. So you take your kinetic energy from your motor to run your car and to produce an electrical current. The electrical current, it goes back into your battery and so on and on and on. Let me show you my HHO fuel cell. It's homemade, very, very efficient. It's not a dry cell. This one is far better than any dry cell out there. I'll tell you why. We're having 1000 cc volume in here in this box. However, 40% of that volume, yes, 40% of that volume is covered in stainless steel, food grade 1810, the best one you can find out there. And <clears throat> I insert some beads inside in between the plates to produce, to have even more area in contact with water. So eventually produce a lot of HHO. With this fuel cell, I can make about 20 liters per minute. Yes, 20 liters in one minute of gas with less than 30 amps. So that's not bad at all. Along with that, 
you need a spark arrestor. If you know what I'm talking about, this one it's a must, a must have. HHO stands for hydrogen and oxygen. So for instance, for the hydrogen to burn, it doesn't require any external hair. You already have the oxygen inside, so they burn together into the chamber. So that makes it very, very, very dangerous. For instance, a spark arrestor can save your life. Along with that, you need a little bubbler. If you don't know what a bubbler is, well, take a look at the HHO process and blah, blah, blah. You find out what it is. You don't want to have it too big since you don't want to store too much of this very dangerous gas. And a little solution. No, this is not something to make me happy. It's not what you think it is. This dust, this little white powder, is sodium hydroxide. I tell you what, to split water, it takes a lot of current. Water, it's a very... It's a very, 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 very stable liquid. In order to split the molecules, it requires a lot of amps, a lot of current. So, with this guy, by adding to the water, it makes the water much, much more conductive. Yes, you can use a sodium chloride, with this, which is common table salt. The problem is with that much amperage, with that much current, you end up splitting also the salt, the table salt, and makes the water very nasty, and you have uh, other different kinds of gases that you don't want mixed with your HHO. Uh, a lot of people try to use uh, something rather acidic, like vinegar and stuff. Uh, however, as I said, you're, we're using 30 amps out of 12 volts. That's almost uh, 1,000 kilowatts, so, <coughs> sorry, 1,000 watts. So that's quite a lot of current, a lot of energy you end up having a different kind of chemical reaction that you don't want. So Stanley Mayer actually used some ammonia. Yes, he was using some ammonia for the hydrolysis to take place easier. I'm using some uh, sodium hydroxide. Just by adding pure water in here, it will work, but you won't produce no more than probably five liters a minute. We well, now I'm producing over 20. Remember that. That's a big difference. By adding a little bit of this in my water, it will make my water super nasty and we have pure HHO, okay? After I said that, let's go install all the system in my car. Let's go take a look. All right, I'm ready to run my car on water and get rid of gasoline. Let's go test it, see if it works. That's my key. Oh, wow, everything goes on. Oh, wow. Oh, wow! Everything is running properly. Yes, I'm running my car on water. I can't believe it. Strange noise though. Very like, uh, definitely it's not 
gasoline when it's burning in my engine. You can tell. Definitely. It's, yeah, it's the hydrogen. I'm running my car on water. But let's take a closer look on my car and uh, see what is outside my exhaust. Let's shut off the car, cool it off for a little bit and see instead of gasoline uh, what we're having outside my exhaust. So here we are, we can uh, barely idle the engine, but we're moving. I don't think I can press on the gas, otherwise we just suck too much hydrogen. But uh, it's working, it's, I'm idling, going like uh, three miles per hour. It's working guys, it's working. Let me see, it's about, I made a couple of miles so far. I'm patient, I'm patient. All right, it's it's working, guys. Running a car of water, going super slow, but it's working. I'm idling in the edge. I don't think I can press on the gas, as I said. Uh, it will definitely kill the my hydrogen cell because I'm not producing enough hydrogen. Even though at 20 liters per minute, I still cannot produce enough hydrogen. I can tell. But it's working. Fuck! What happened? No, 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 no! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Something's going on here. My car is dying. My, no, come on, guys. No, 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 no. Don't die. Don't die. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, shoot. I have to pull over. I have something just happened. Oh man, I just killed my battery. It was $150 battery for my car. I killed it. It's dead. So, I'm back. Very, very, very disappointed of what happened to me. Only after three miles, two and a half, guess what? My battery died. My multimeter was pretty clear. My battery is dead. Only after three miles, uh, my fuel cell, it's actually very efficient. I still quite don't understand. I was making a lot of hydrogen. Well, I was sucking also a lot of amps from my battery. Let me tell you what's going on here. We are converting the energy, not once, not twice, not three times. But four times! So yes, you're converting the energy by running your car on water four times! That means that only stupid people can believe your car can run on water. Yes, you have to really test in order to understand. Well, guess what? Real engineers, they don't need to build something like this. They already know that it's quite impossible to convert the energy four times and still have the extra juice to recharge your battery. Here is the process. Get your battery, convert the energy once into your fuel cell, then you convert the electricity into a gas. Then you take this gas and you convert it into kinetic energy to make your car move. At the same time, you're converting the energy one more time into electricity again. 
and then you convert the energy one more time to put it back into your battery. There is no way you can run your car on freaking water. Yes, otherwise if it was that easy, the trick of these people is that they never tell you is that you have to recharge your battery. Yes, every one hour, two hours, really? So your car, for instance, runs on electricity. It's an electric car. It's an electric car, not a water car. I'll tell you what, nowadays, electric cars, efficiency, it can go up to 95%. Yes, 95%, because an electric engine, it's far way more efficient than a gas engine. A gas engine itself, it's barely 60% efficiency, which means that only 60% of his fuel, it would get converted into kinetic energy. The alternator itself, it's another barely 80% if it's not less than that. Your fuel cell, it's barely 20% efficiency. How in the hell you can convert the energy four, five times and you still have some juice to recharge your battery? I mean, like, are you kidding me? Let me talk about Stanley Mayer and this genius uh, that got killed. Uh, let me tell you the story about this Stanley Mayer. Stanley Mayer, the genius of Stanley Mayer, decided to take uh, this uh, hydrolysis process, which is well known from scientists for over a century now, and decided to run his car on water. Well, the trick was pretty easy, is to recharge his battery every few miles, yes. Uh, well, by adding ammonia to his fuel cell. However, in 1996, uh, he sold the project to these big investors. So, money that they spent over $25,000, yes, for his pseudo machine uh, that was supposed to run on water. So after grabbing the $25,000, he had to go through a patent process. That patent process never went through. They called a big ass engineer from a famous university in London, such as Michael Lafton. Yes, as soon as he opened the engine of that car, revealed a simple electrolysis process. Well. Stanley Mayer decided at that point uh, to stop the patent process because it was way too easy to find out by his trick uh, and a simple hydrolysis process. For instance, no patent were released because he was a lame, he was scam, he sold for $25,000 a fake machine uh, to these two investors. Well, obviously the the judge in a courtroom decided to don't give any patent to Stanley Mayer and eventually, yes, eventually refound these two founders that they spent a good $25,000 back in 1996. Guess what? Yeah, no money. He was trying to run away and he decided to don't pay back these two investors. Guess why? Because it was a scam. Of course it was a scam. Now, you decide who killed the Stanley Mayer. The government, the oil companies, or someone who won a lot of money. Yes, a lot of money for his scam. So, Whatever they say online, not always is true. You want to dig into the topic and find out more true about it. Uh, since Stanley Mayer got killed, yes, but not from oil companies, as you can see. Scamming, I've been around forever, for a century now. Yes, for 100 years. Pe people make fake free energy generators to make money, to look for the investment. And then grab the money and run away. That's the genius of Stanley Mayer and water cars. Of course, a big uh, automotive, you know, manufacturer such as Honda, Toyota, 
Kia, which are the biggest one in the world, of course they will never decide to make a car that runs on water because it will never work. Of course, it will never work. It doesn't really matter what kind of fuel you put in it. Their goal is to produce a car and sell it. It doesn't really matter what you're running on. It can be pee, it can be water, it can be salt, it can be whatever you want. Their goal is just to sell the car. After all, 90% of your car is made out of oil. Yes, oil. So I don't think it would be a problem for this company to still keep up with the uh, oil companies because plastic is from oil. Rubber is made out of from oil. Paint is made out of oil. So 90% of your car runs on oil, regardless fuel. So thank you guys for watching and Stanley Mayer, it was fraud. It was fraud, not a genius.